Uh, it was exciting. I mean, you know, the fact that they've only run it, <clears throat> they've only run it twice, uh, you know, once before today. And uh, we've, they've literally had like two relay handoff practices. And uh, so, you know, successful. They're in the finals of the Pac-12, and that's a big deal. Um, you also got Laura into the, you know, 1500 finals. Talk about her performance today and what she needs to do to come out tomorrow and do well. Um, you know, it's a, I, it's the third year in a row that Laura's made the final, and uh, you know, and that's a huge accomplishment. It's, it's going to be an exciting race tomorrow. I mean, there's anywhere between four or five young ladies that could uh, win the race tomorrow, and also four or five of the young ladies that could be could end up winning the national championship out of this, out of this race tomorrow. Um, Emily, who registered during cross country season, didn't run indoor. You know, she's come out with a bang, and today got a big personal record. Kind of talk about her. Yeah, that was exciting. I mean, Emily missed all of last winter, all last spring, all all summer, all fall, uh, most of the winter, and uh, you know, she's she comes out here, runs 210 today, and beats a you know beats a number of uh, young ladies that are outstanding and. You know, so it just shows what kind of potential and promise that she has. I know she she's leaving here really excited and excited to go home this summer and have a great summer of training. Um, and then Lacey, you know, she got a PR. She's also, you know, transferred from Oregon. Kind of talk about her performance. I mean, a year ago, Lacey was a freshman here at the University of Oregon and, you know, wasn't running and wasn't doing athletics and, and uh, you know, contacted us about transferring and seeing if she could come out for the team. and. She's a 217, 218 half miler out of high school. She ran 213 today, and you know she's got a bright future ahead of her also. So we had, you know, we had two freshmen today in the 800 that, and they both have run great 1500s this year too. So really excited about what they can bring. Um, what do you expect for tomorrow? What are you looking for out of like the, the 5,000 meter race? Yeah, I mean we got Aaron Jones yet tonight in the 10. I think Aaron's going to do really, really well, and uh, Taylor and Allen. Uh, just had a big PR in the steeple this afternoon also and they, you know that might be fast enough to qualify her for the regionals we'll have to wait and see and then tomorrow the guys four by one you know the way they are they they're expecting to win it it's just kind of the way their personality is and then uh, Laurel will be right in the hunt of the 1500 tomorrow hopefully you know uh, she has all the talent in the world to do it and then our we have three really good young kids that are gonna run the five tomorrow and uh, you know the only, th the only thing concerned tomorrow is supposed to be pretty hot and you know, so, you know, they're going to have to have to really gut it out tomorrow because it could be pretty warm here tomorrow. But, uh, you know, everyone that's here has been competing really hard. So we, we're really pleased with what we're doing. Lastly, right behind you, uh, Oboom is about to jump. What can you see about what he's done so far? Well, Oboom's one of the best athletes in the country. I mean, there's no question. So if you don't mind, I'd like to watch him jump. <laughs> Yeah.